everyone, it's Melissa. It is dark, late, late in the afternoon. Just took an urge to film a video. And so it's kind of an overcast day anyway. But anyway, just thought I'd get over on here and tell y'all how we are doing, how we are coping. I think we're doing pretty well. I do. Uh, we're having some hard times, but we're having some good times too. Uh, Doug, as you know, is a uh, has his own. You know, he's a business up for himself. So uh, you know, we're we're going to be struggling over the next few months. We don't have any money coming in. We do have some retirement. Just you know, being honest, uh, we do have some retirement set aside. So we're dipping into that. But we're he has two employees, and he is still able to pay them. So that is good. Uh, you know, we're blessed to be able to do that. We got food and roof over our head and clothes. And you know, what more could you ask for? But I tell you what, I have found <laughs> that there are things that I thought I needed that I didn't need. Uh, you know, I'd look at some, nope, don't need that. Nope, don't need that. Nope, don't need that. So, uh, you know, it puts things into perspective more. Um, I have not filmed a lot on here because I did not know that I had anything worthwhile to say. Um, I haven't bought anything, so I didn't have any hauls. I don't have any new palettes to show, uh, no new clothes to show. Um, hair is just kind of, I, I did color my roots for the first time. I'll talk about that in a minute. But there's not a lot new that I felt I could contribute, so I just kind of have stayed off here. But I want to keep in touch with everybody, so that's why I wanted to get back on today. I thought maybe in the future I could do some videos of uh, doing a get ready with me. Uh, we're showing palettes that maybe we all have, uh, palettes that I have in my stash. Uh, just different looks with that. That might be something I could do. Um, maybe show different hair stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I've had to change my hair hair uh, care up a little bit uh, from Nioxin, so uh, I ran out. So uh, I've had to change that up a little bit. So maybe we'll, we'll talk about things like that. We'll talk about things as they come up. Uh, on Instagram, this has been kind of exciting. On Instagram, well, first thing, I was trying to keep up with the Rockettes because they were doing their routine online. And, uh, you know, I realized just because I was a cheerleader in 1973 doesn't mean I can do any of their stuff today because I couldn't. It, that just flew right out the window. But uh, that was fun anyway. I, I still enjoy watching them so much. Uh, it's just, it's fun. But um, I took piano lessons as a child. So periodically over the years, I would decide, you know, to, I've still got a piano. So I would try to, you know, learn how to play again. But during this time, I've, I've picked it up again and am really enjoying it. Now I play like a, maybe a second year level student, you know, really very, very poorly. But what I've been doing on Instagram is, do y'all remember that TV show, Name That Tune? It was Kathy Lee Gifford, except she was Kathy Lee Johnson then, and she had that Dorothy Hamill haircut. I remember that. But she would, they would play a few notes, and then they would say, Name That Tune, and you'd try to guess the tune. Well, I've been doing that with the piano, and so, and that's been fun. I've enjoyed it a whole lot. But, uh, so I'll play a few notes, and people will try to guess the song. Uh, and so that has forced me to stick with it and learn some songs. I have really enjoyed that a whole lot. Uh, let's see, we have watched some TV shows, watched Picard, oh man, that was good. We are, we're huge, it's the, it's one of the sequels to, or continuation of Star Trek, The Next Generation. We were huge Generation fans, and uh, Picard is, Patrick Stewart's just such a good actor. I think he's doing, uh, I think he's doing Shakespeare sonnets on Instagram lives, you know. People, so many different people are sharing things like that. That's just been so good. Oh, it was a wonderful series, Picard. Uh, and we were watching Killing Eve, realized that we had skipped one of the last episodes from last season, so we watched that again, but we, oh, we like Killing Eve. Very dark, very, very violent, so be warned about that. And also, uh, started Sunday night was Bosch. No, Friday night. I'm sorry. Friday night was Bosch. Uh, I like it, but Doug loves it. It's one of his favorite shows next to the Beverly Hillbillies and Sopranos. He just loves Bosch. 
And I think they might have brought it up kind of early because usually they have a big fanfare fair for it and uh, all of a sudden it just kind of appeared. So I, I have wondered if maybe they had planned on bringing it up so soon, but they did it because of the virus. But so we are really enjoying that. We've been watching several other shows too. But, but we've had several birthdays. Uh, Today is actually my son's birthday, and you know, with things being tight right now, uh, we've been trying to all be creative, uh, doing, getting things for each other's birthdays. One, one thing I did for my son, my daughter-in-law, my daughter-in-law, and I did this. We've been for weeks contacting people from his past, from his childhood, from coworkers, from previous fellow students, from elementary school to college cousins, aunts, uncles, friends, uh, to send in text to me just a little uh, birthday greeting and I, I edited it all, put it all together and we showed it to him and that really touched him. So, you know, thinking outside the box, being creative like that has really, well, I, I've, it's, it's been a good thing. You know, all of this, especially, uh, well, except for the worry about our future, not, of it's, not all of it's been bad because it has really made me appreciate, and Doug too, the things that really matter. I know Doug's real worried. Uh, he, he spends a lot of time outside in the yard, working on the yard. He's quieter. He sits on the back porch. You know, I can tell he's worried. But, uh, you know, we'll all get through it. Uh, a lot of people are really worried right now. So, we're not alone, which is, you know, that's a good thing to realize that we're not alone. But anyway. I dyed my hair like I said. Uh, this is the first time I've ever dyed my hair myself. Now, before I started getting it highlighted, Doug would do my hair for me. And he got real well where he'd get around, you know, he'd part it off and everything and be able to get all my roots. And so uh, what I did was I just did around my hairline and then just parted it a few places and brushed it on. I used that uh, Root Touch Up by Clairol. The color was eight medium blonde and that that was a good match for my roots uh it did a real good job it was easy to do you just leave it on for i can't remember now maybe 10 minutes something like that wash it out and it was done and uh I, i've been real tickled with that i've been real pleased so another thing besides doing the video for my son my birthday is coming up and my daughter-in-law got me the cleverest uh birthday present and it, it didn't cost a thing she went on Instagram and she asked the Rockettes if they would send me a message, and they did. They sent me a birthday message and it said, Happy birthday from all 80 of us. Well, that just meant, I cried. That meant everything to me. And when this is all over with, I'm going to print that message out and, uh, you know, get it framed. I, that just really meant so much to me. So I think, you know, we can be creative uh, during times like this. Uh, Doug's enjoying cooking a lot. He has always really liked to cook, to cook and he has more time to do that now. Uh, and we've divided up the chores real well. You know, I do all the cleaning and the laundry, and he's doing the cooking and the grocery shopping. Uh, we, be, we go about once a week to every 10 days, or my son goes for us and sits it all outside for us. Uh, so, you know, we're hanging in there that way, too. So, I've been still, you know, doing my makeup, doing my hair, and... Uh, it just makes me feel better. So if I can have control over wearing makeup or, uh, you know, fixing my hair or getting dressed, if I can have control over that, then that makes me feel better. So I have still been doing that. So not as much as usual, but but I've been I've been doing it some. <laughs> I've been keeping clean anyway and brushing my teeth. Oh, Lazy, you have to laugh. Um, I was going to tell one story, and then I'll get off here. This is a story now. I always like to give a little warning. It's a little risque, uh, but I'm going to tell it anyway. I started thinking about this when I was thinking about vacations that I had taken in the past. Uh, I grew up in southern Tennessee, and we would drive to Panama City every, every summer to go to Florida in Panama City. And we would stay in those motels where the doors would open to the parking lot. So our vacation was ending and my, my dad was putting the, everything in the car. So my mother was standing there watching him and I was beside her and so, and I've told this on Instagram, but it was a long time ago. So she was leaning back against somebody's door. Well, the door wasn't latched. 
And so she fell into the door on the back. And so me, I was standing beside him. So I was looking in, you know, curious child. And I remember this vividly. There was a man sitting in the bed. He was, didn't have anything from the waist up. He was sitting there in the bed, didn't have anything on. And he had a woman on each side of him. And the women were both, you know, had the covers up, pulled up around their necks. And of course my mother was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. And she'd try to get up and she'd fall down every time. And then she would try to crawl, crawl and then she would fall down. So finally my father had to go in there and pick her up and, you know, take her out and shut the door behind him. So I got, it took a while and I got a real good look at him. And through a child's eyes, and it took me forever to realize that it was something different for a long time. Through a child's eyes, I thought, well, they're having a slumber party. I bet they're having a good time. I wonder if they're going to order pizza and lemonade, you know, because that's what we would have at our slumber parties. And I thought that for years. Through it, I still saw that episode through a child's eyes. And it wasn't until I was grown and looked at that episode again and realized, they weren't having a slumber party. They were doing something dirty. <laughs> they were doing it. It didn't mean what I thought it meant. It didn't mean a slumber party. But it took me forever to not see it through that child's eyes, through my, you know, through my eyes as a child. But anyway, I just thought I would share that little story. Uh, I'm going to get off here now. Thank you so much for watching. And many, many blessings to those that are essential workers, those that are still having to get out, those medical workers that are keeping us safe and saving lives. Uh, we appreciate it. And um, prayers to all of you all. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful next few days, and I'll talk to you all soon. And uh, thanks again. Bye-bye.